Hi everyone, my name is Alyssa Kenahan Dundas and today I have some very exciting news to bring you guys. I have a personal project piece that is officially out for you guys to read. It's an editorial piece that I've worked with for a long time with a great friend of mine named Jan. He is a photographer and filmmaker. He, God bless him, he has worked so long and hard with me for this project. It's all about my travel experience. Shocker. So, as you know, I travel a lot um, as a solo traveler. Past two years, I have been to thir 14, 14 countries just recently. Uh, a little over two years, but. Um, so this article that is officially out for your beautiful eyes to lay upon is entitled The Truth of Travel, How Traveling Made Me Love Life But Question Myself. And so this one's a big one for me, it's very personal. It dives into my experience traveling, how it's impacted not just a person that I am and wish to be, but how it's imp impacted my mental health. So, you know, and it, it has its good and its bad. This isn't about the craziness of, you know, the planning of traveling, the organizing and the getting there and all the chaos of the logistics of traveling. No, 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 no. This is about life, travel, meeting new people, seeing the world, culture, language, food, and how it morphs you into somebody you never even thought could exist. And what that means for you, what that means for how you view the world, how you walk in the world. And so this piece has taken months. It took Jan and I about two and a half months or so to just create it. We sat down together, um, figuring out where we wanted to take this article, how we wanted the photographs that he would be taking of me to better exude the emotions I wanted to come out from the words I was writing. We thought long and hard into the very details of everything. I mean, even the photographs, there's symbolism for all of it, which I plan on creating a video diving a little bit deeper into the behind the scenes of how this all came into existence. Um, but yeah, I mean, from the scenery to my outfit to the jewelry to the background stuff happening in the background images, it's all thought of on purpose. Um, all to go into, to better go into the flow of the article and what it's supposed to bring to the table. And so I'm very excited for this piece to come to you. It's It's been done for a while now as well. It's, about, it's been on the back burner for a few months and that's because we wanted to wait for the perfect time to bring it to you guys and what better of a time than the new year. Happy 2020. Um, yeah, traveling, it's, it's a big one. This And I wanted again to create this to just entice you a little bit into reading it. Um, but also give you a little summary about, you know, what it's about. It dives into my personal stories of, you know, where I've been, how it's impacted me, um, the depression that came along with it. Uh, it I get very honest here, and again, that's why it's called The Truth of Travel. Um, traveling is a big wake-up call, and it's, it can sometimes feel like you're all alone through through the process of it, you know, through the experience of, especially when you come back home and you've taken everything that you have learned through your travel experience, it's a lot. And so I lay it all on the table for you, even throughout, intertwined throughout the article are actual quotes from my travel journal, my travel diary. And so you'll see, you know, throughout the, the piece, quotes of mine with the little dates underneath. And so you actually get to see how I was feeling day to day as I was traveling. Uh, and you'll see that it's not all beautiful. Some of it is love and light. It is um, a high, a natural high for sure, which also comes with natural lows. So <laughs> again, this is a piece of me that I'm giving to you guys because I find it very important. I want people to know the value in traveling and, and the challenges that it poses because they exist and you know it's more than top five beaches and you know best food to get in Spain it's it's about honesty it's about connection connectivity with people 
challenging yourself, meeting people with different backgrounds than you, experiencing different culture and music and food and dance and just everything. And so I lay it all out there for you to hopefully inspire you to see the world, even if that just means leaving your hometown to another town, you know, to challenge yourself and to speak with other people. And I, I hope as much as it inspires you, I hope it brings truth and, and better prepares you for the mental aspects of seeing the world, in, especially in a new light, a new perspective, a new way. And this is all me I'm laying out here. And uh, again, it's been one in the works for such a long time, so I'm finally super psyched to have it out for you guys to read. Um, please let me know how you feel. I hope it inspires you, but I hope it also, like I said, better prepares you for the real shit that happens um, <laughs> while you travel. I will link my website below, um, which will send you to the article. Again, feel free to reach out to me and let, you know, let me know how you think and feel about this piece. Uh, again, I'm so excited for you to finally, finally read it. It's a big one. It's a big one for me. So. I hope you enjoy. Happy New Year. I hope this year brings you love, light, happiness, and peace. I go out and see the world. Go out and meet new people. And please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And if you really, really like the article, which I hope you do, um, send it to your friends and family. Uh, you can totally share it from my website, the article straight from um, my website to Facebook, Twitter, wherever you want. So. Uh, yeah, pass it along. It's a, it's a, it's a big piece. So I hope you enjoy. All right, everybody, go read it. Let me know what you think. <laughs> bye. Bye, 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 bye. Go read it. Ah, to the travel. Bye.